Let's take a look at Highlanders Ridge Hole 7. One of the more challenging holes on the course, or at least it, it can be. Uh, it's a very small island green, and any drive that doesn't make it to the island is OB. Two strokes, and you can say move to lie or rethrow, it doesn't matter because it's going to take you back to the T. So uh, it can be a very punishing hole if you don't make the island green um, and there's no drop zone. So as far as disc go, the game is suggesting the glide roll arrive. I mean, yeah, that'll work, but uh, it, you really don't need that much disc. If you look at the center row here, the accurate windbreak musket, accurate roll musket, the accurate extra glide musket, uh, and the accurate roll sapphire. I think those are four really good choices. Uh, the only time you're going to need the the disc up is in a four headwind. Uh, in in that case, the glide roll arrive uh, is perhaps your best choice. But typically, in my opinion, the accurate windbreak musket, if you have it, is ideal. Uh, just drop the chevrons down a little bit and adjust for the wind. You do want to stay right of this one guardian tree. If you hit that, you're probably OB. Uh, and that's going to be 63 feet uphill. So a challenging shot, but makeable. And in a favorable wind, and this is certainly favorable, the accurate roll will also work. Uh, I've mentioned this before, the thing with the roll fairway drivers is they have a tendency to stand up and roll. Now in practice I, I didn't notice that here, but you know that that is a tendency of the roll drivers. Uh, the accurate extra glide musket might be a bit much in this wind, but it'll also work get you a little closer to the pin. And there is a wall back here. If you get back here, it's not bad. It's like that very corner is 70 feet. So not a terrible shot. There is an opening in that wall, though, that you can go. If you go too much disc and you go left, you'll go straight into OB. Um, and the accurate roll sapphire, if you have it, and not everybody does, uh, also pretty good disc. It's going to get us a little closer look should be should be 40 maybe 36 so now this is a tough win because it's going to try to push me left into the wall or even ob and it's a headwind so it's going to cut my distance down so with this wind i would probably go with the accurate extra glide musket and we're going to try to give it a little bit of anhyzer to fight the wind and hope that the wind brings it back to the island. And it does. Now here we have a very strong wind out of the left. This is going to be challenging a headwind also. And I think I'm going to try the accurate extra glide musket again. I'm going to challenge this guardian tree and hope that the, the wind keeps me just to the right of it. Let's see if this works. Barely, but I got there. So the wind can definitely add a element of challenge to the hole. And of course you've got the, you know, basket sitting on top of the hill. If you miss that. It's going to be trouble. But uh, anyway, that's it for hole seven. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. We'll see you around the valley.